Today I'm going to teach you guys how to take vocabulary words that you looked up while reading books on Kindle and export them onto your computer and directly into Anki so that you can get more use out of this thing. So Kindle is great because it allows you to look up vocabulary words while you're reading books in whatever your target language is and look them up in a dictionary right on the spot on the Kindle. You can look them up on, for example, a Japanese to Japanese dictionary or a Japanese to English dictionary or whatever it is that you've downloaded on your Kindle. Now it's also great because on top of this, every single word you look up is actually saved in something called the vocabulary builder within the Kindle. If you go over to the vocabulary builder, you can see every single word you've looked up along with the sentence that you looked them up in. You can also see the definition. Now, unfortunately, while this does have a flashcard application built into it, there's no SRS involved. You just go from one card to the next and choose whether or not you've mastered it or whether you want to delete it. Now, this isn't super useful and the Kindle isn't blazing fast, so it's not the most efficient way to review vocabulary words either. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take those vocabulary words and put them onto Anki. Fortunately, there's a program that helps with that, and that's called Kindle Mate. Now, to get Kindle Mate, you just need to go to the website kmate.me. Now, it's all in Chinese because I think this was originally made for people studying Chinese, but you can still use it for other languages, so don't worry about that. Just click download on the top menu and download the most recent version for Windows. Unfortunately, it's only for Windows at the moment. After you download and install Kindle Mate, you'll open it to find a screen like this. Now, I already have a bunch of words here because I've used it a few times, but to get your vocabulary words and also clippings and things can be put onto here too, but you can't directly export those to Anki, so you'll have to use another tool for that or just copy and paste them in. But fortunately, any vocabulary word that you look up on Kindle also has the original sentence that you looked up attached to it, so that's not too big of a deal. So all you need to do is take your Kindle, plug it into your computer, click the button here, Kindle Connected, to sync it, and you'll see Kindle Clippings 0, Duplicates Ignored 104, Vocabulary Word 0, Duplicates Ignored 541. Usually you'd have a big number here next to vocabulary words, but because I just did this recently, I don't have any new words to look up. So, after that, you should have something over here called vocabulary word. You'll see I have 564 words, some are English, some are Japanese, and if I click on any one of them, you'll see I have the original sentence that I looked them up in, as well as a definition, but there is no definition because unfortunately Kindle Mate can't pull the definition out of the Kindle. There are some built-in Chinese to English and English to English dictionaries. I couldn't find a Japanese dictionary that worked with this application. Perhaps you can, but that's not a huge issue. I'll tell you guys how you can work around that a little bit later. So stick around for that. But anyway, we have the vocabulary word and the original sentence that it showed up in right here. So that's a great start. You can drill down and see words that you're learning or words that you've chosen as mastered on the Kindle, but you shouldn't really have to worry about that because you're probably not reviewing these words on your Kindle anyway. What you're gonna wanna do is drill down to titles. Now the book I'm reading right now is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in Japanese. So if I go over here, I can see all the words that I've looked up recently on the Kindle, along with the sentence that I looked them up in. Now. One thing about the Kindle that isn't so great is that the touch sensitivity can be a little wonky, so you may end up looking up things that you don't actually want to look up. Like, for example, the knee particle, or the no particle, or just words that were around the word you were trying to look up. Now, to get rid of those, it's really simple. You don't need to go back into the Kindle and delete each one, which is what I used to do. All you have to do is right click and delete here. Now, if you go over to edit and sync changes to Kindle, it will actually delete all of those words for you. You can sync changes from Kindle Mate to Kindle disabled when no words are happening. And you just click here, sync Kindle vocabulary words and start. And that will actually sync everything up. So two usages deleted. Those are now deleted from my Kindle. But anyway, I'm gonna go through here and delete all of the random things that I looked up that I didn't actually need. There's quite a few of them. So after you've deleted everything that you want to get rid of and you have only the vocabulary words that you want, what you're gonna do next is choose what data you want to go into your Anki deck. Now, because there's no definition and the stem here, you see stem, it, it's meant for Chinese, so it doesn't always have just the reading. Here we have unagasu, but for this one, we have just the kanji, so it's not the reading. So that's a little disappointing, but because of the way we're going to review these, it's actually not that big of a deal. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to choose here over in options, words, copy, export, format, words, and usages. Usages are the sentences that you actually look those words up in, every single one of them. And then we're gonna come over to file after, after we choose the book we're gonna be exporting, file, 
export to files, export by selection, and from the drop down we just pick Anki, tab separated UTF-8 HTML enabled, we'll gotta get a text file, click save after you pick a better name, and if we come out here we'll see I have Harry Potter, and right here I have all of the vocabulary words exported onto the desktop along with the usages that they showed up in, the sentences that they showed up with. Next we're going to go into Anki. So I'm going to make a new deck for this because I don't actually think I need to put all of the words into my current deck. Harry Potter 2 is what I'll name this one. So the first thing you're going to want to do in Anki is to create a card format that you're going to like. So first you're going to come over to Tools, manage note types and you're going to add a new note type. Now for me, I called it Harry Potter basic and reverse because I want a front and a back card. There's going to be multiple fields. In my deck we have front, back, sentence, reading and sentence, no word. I picked a Japanese font that I liked for everything and save that. After you've created the note type, go into cards. Now on my cards, I'll throw these different styles down into the description of this video just in case you like them. But basically what I have is I have the front, the front field, and the sentence field. Sentence field only on the front. On the back of this template I have the same two fields, front and sentence, as well as the reading of the vocabulary word and whatever data is in back. We'll get to what that data is later. I also have it styled like this. If you want this style, jump into my Discord and I'll pass it off to you there. But it's not the most attractive style, so maybe you'll make a better style yourself. On the back card I've got the back plus sentence no word. The back of that template has back sentence no word as well as front which is the vocabulary word, the reading of the vocabulary word, and the original sentence with the same styling. Now you'll notice I have a little field next to each field name called edit with a colon. That's because we're going to be using an add-on called edit field during review close. Now to get that add-on all you have to do is go to the Anki Web add-ons page and look for edit field during review close. I'll put a link down in the description though, as well as the code that you can just copy if you'd like into Anki. So you get that code, you go to get add-ons and paste the code right here, and you'll get that add-on. So what that add-on allows you to do is edit cards directly on the review page. Now that's really important, we're going to be using that later. To add that file, we go to import Harry Potter, the field one, that's the vocabulary word, will go into front, and field two, will go into sentence. We click import, 135 notes added, 78 notes unchanged, close, and now we have 10 new words. Our next word I'm not sure of yet, so I'm going to copy and paste that word and put it over into my favorite dictionary, Gu Jisho. You could also put it into something like jisho.com and take the English meaning if you're not quite ready for a Japanese to Japanese dictionary yet. But anyway, I find here that the reading for this is kakka. So I take the reading, kakka, copy and paste it into the reading section, and I take the definition right here and pop it over into the definition section. Now I could also take this definition right here from Jisho and pop that in below if I wanted to, or just use one or the other. I've now got a perfectly good card in Anki to use for review. So I hit again and when that one comes up I'll now have a perfectly good card to review. The next word I also know so I'm going to delete that. And now here's my first review so I can take a look. Your Excell Excellency, I know that that's kakka so I click show answer. Kakka, okay let's hit good. So here's a new word. I'm going to take this one, drop it into gu. So we see that it's shitataru. So I'm going to take the reading, shitataru and put it into Anki in the reading. I click show answer, I click here, that's where my reading is going to show up. And I take the definitions right here. I think I'm going to take everything, including the fact that it's a godan verb, and drop it into definitions. I'm going to put a space in between, and then maybe if you'd like you could drop it into Jisho as well to get the English definition if you'd like. I usually don't put them in my cards, but it is something you could do. Okay, so there's my definitions, and I have a perfectly good card, I just hit again. And here's another word that I don't know, so I click show answer to get up my fields, drop that into gu, and I see that the reading is junpuku, so I copy junpuku, 
over to my card. I take the definition. There's also other sentences here I can take a look at and drop that into definitions. I now have a perfectly good card. So if we keep going through this, you'll see that eventually we're going to hit a card, a card that is the back side of one of the cards we've already made. Now you remember that I put sentence no word. Now what I like to do is I like to take the sentence like this one, although this isn't the greatest sentence for the example, and get rid of the original word and put something like this to leave a blank. So that when I review it again, I can see the sort of sentence that it shows up in. Now this isn't the best sentence example, but if you need better examples, you can always come over and grab another sentence from someplace like Gu or from Jisho by clicking here and going to Reibun or example sentences. So I use Yomi-chan so I can just look it up like this, click plus, and that will go to a different deck I have set up in Anki. I'll do another video for that another time. And that's it. That's how you can get all of your words that you've looked up in Kindle over onto Anki really simply. It takes a little bit of extra work. It's not exactly direct, but I found that this research of looking up each word, its reading, its meaning, and going through it before I actually do the first official review has been really useful for me in retaining the new words. So I hope this can be useful for you in your studies. This is a little something new. I don't know if you guys like this kind of video, but if it was helpful, please hit the like button and let me know down in the comments. And also let me know what book you're reading right now on your Kindle.